Right, this is me making my way to Hurley Point, which I didn't video last time because there was too many people here. I don't know if I'll be able to today, really. It's difficult knowing. I've already taken pictures of the plaque before, for reference. There's a bit of a northeast breeze. Yeah, a bit of a northeast breeze, but maybe I've got the place to myself today. Trig points over there, Black Hill Trig Point. I didn't go up on the top there because I did it before. So I thought we'd come up skirt it today. Just get different perspectives on the place. And, and did the lower route. It was quite nice. It was quite pleasant. Hopefully I'll have this a little bit to myself so that I can go round it to Hullsway Post. Um, that's what I want to do. There is time. Now right over there in the distance we've got um, Will's Neck with its distinctive pathway going up the side. That should come into view. I didn't do that today because I skirted that one on the Greenway route. A lower route that I did. And I skirted all the way to Triscombe Pub, the Blue Ball. Real old thatch place. Where I took up the Greenway still. And went up a lovely long peaceful bridle path. Up Marrow Hill. Great Marrow Hill I climbed. Looking over at the smaller one, lesser one. Um, got on right on the top of the big, you know, barrows, burrows are, well, you know, ancient burial mounds. Uh, looked over, aware of the battles that have been taking place all over those hills in the past. Hinkley points over there in the mist. Let's leave it there. And all these other walks I still will be able to do again. The plantation I talk about near Holford's right over there. Beacon Hill right over there. All these walks will be accessible and easier because I won't have to get off at West Bagborough in the future. I've done this end for this winter, before the winter. Um, I can still come out here, um, but th these are big hikes when I have to start right over the other side of that hill. These are big hikes. I've still got a big hike to do because I've got to get right over there yet. But I didn't video. I've never really been out of video here because um, normally there's a lot of people like to come up here. Of course they do. It's a place of significance, it's a place of great views, it's a part of the landscape. It's very popular with people, this is. And uh, when I came up three weeks ago, there was lots of people up here. It was too crowded. So I, I didn't even stop and do a video or anything because there was too many people. I, mean, I think I took one photo and ended up going down a track there hidden, you can't see it, but today I want to go round and end up at Hullsway Post. That's my plan, that's what I've wanted to do. Now that over there, that's Thorncombe Hill, where I went, swooped round it three weeks ago. And then over the other side of that, there's another hill. Um, with Paradise Coombe, Bicknoller Coombe, Weakham Coombe. I've not done Paradise Coombe yet and I'm leaving that for another time. I decided not to overload myself today. I'm not going to do it today. Even though it was part of on the list, I thought no. That's so close to Bicknoller you can do that as a separate hike. Isn't this great though everyone? Look at it. My beautiful Quantox. I just love it here. Yeah, the other day when I walked up, I couldn't video because there were people sat around. It was very difficult. When I say the other day, it was on the 28th of August. So it was, you know, a good three weeks, nearly three weeks ago. But I've, I've done all that again. Walked all that and I'm up here on another car, another burial mound. There's loads of other things I need to explore. Other areas I haven't done yet. 
you know, other ins and outs I can still do when I base myself at Bicknoller, which is right over there, by the way, but it's not that far. It's not right, right, right over there where I've been earlier. But of course, my favourite place, of course, will always be, um, is going to be Holford, down there. That's where my heart is. My Holford. So, but I, and I will still visit it. When I do the higher hair naps and lower hair, I would go into Holford and walk through the Glen. I will do it, yeah. Oh, stop it, B. Leave me alone. to make me run away. Stop it. Naughty B. Right, there's the Hurley Beacon. I think they actually light fires on some, on these beacons, you know, at special occasions, like the Queen's Jubilees and all that sort of thing. Well, there's a man over there. I don't know if it definitely is. There's a man with a pink top on. But he's got somebody with him now. I'm sure he was alone earlier. Pink seems to be the thing. No, it's not him. This bloke was like quite chunky. Maybe he hasn't done it, got that far yet. Hell's Way Post will be down there. Oh, actually, he's just there now, I think. Uh, let me just zoom in. People become reference points. Yeah, there he is. He's near the pond area. Ships in the night. I'm hoping I can come round here. This is what I'm doing. I've no, never walked down this far before. Never. Okay, so this is new to me. I thought I see something move then. What's that? I oh, know, just a bit of heather. So Croker will be over that way. The next village along will be Bitnoller. And I've got a feeling, what, one another reason I wanted to come down here is that there's a path that comes up from Crocombe and joins up over there. Now what I'm doing, I'm going down and then I'm going to go up that valley <laughs> Give make it work for yourself, she, I know I am. And I'm going to work my way back that way. But I've got a feeling this path, if it, dip, if it splits in a minute, is the one that I would come up from Crocombe. That was another one of the things I thought about doing and then realised it was going to be too much in one day to fit all of it over that way and all this other weaving. So I, took, I said, no, not today. That's something we can work on when we're exploring these other areas. But there's probably paths that we can find. And um, you won't always need to climb right up. It's beautiful. No... I mean, I took some great views. When I was over there, I took some great views of over here. You know. I do hope this does turn, by the way. It's not like a goose chase. I hope it does turn. Otherwise, it means up again. Up again. Something tells me it will. We've got time to do a little bit of variation, you see. This is why leaving out some other things is good, because we can do these things. We can tick them off the list. Um, because we've got a long way to go, because after that hill, we've got another hill to do. It doesn't stop, you see. And in theory, we should get where that man in the pink top is. He's on the Macmillan Way. In theory, I should be going up there. That's the theory. But anything could happen. I might decide just to shoot straight across there. Anything could happen. And I still don't know. Um, if, if, if this is good... No, I reckon it's turning in a minute. I think I can see it turning. That's just what I want, because I want to get back over there. 
that is part of the plan. But I was thinking that there's got to be a link with Crocombe, which is down there. Because they told me there was a bridle way. That could be used instead of climbing up the very, very, very steep Crocombe Hill. Which I have done on several occasions and it's a killer. It really, really is steep. People even have to get, even the strongest bikers were getting off their bikes. Yeah, so see those bunch of trees there, just there, that's, that's Crocombe. Down there with the church. Can't remember its name, but I have done it before as well. I always do the churches. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be right up there at some point. Where's the man with the pink? They're having a picnic there. Yeah, he's gone in behind the bushes. Oh no, there he is. And where's he gone again? Yeah. There's the my pink man. Last time I was up here, I had a blue woman. <laughs> she was dressed in blue. It's nice, I, I, I see them as markers for distances, actually. Uh, now, I wonder if I am going to turn there. It does look like a turn, doesn't it? And I would have thought they said it came up from the shop. You go past the shop at, in Crocombe. Go past the post office, where I had an ice cream once. Um, as if you're leaving the village from that side. And you'll see a, a route. Sometimes you actually have to go there to find it, you know what I mean? See, there's a little turn in there, look. See that little turn in there? Is that the turn in I should have taken? Right, over and out. Right, just before I take photos, here's a crossroad. I'm not going right down there, not on this occasion, but I reckon that will be the turn in for Crookham. We just go over a little bit just to have a, a look and I'm going that way now because I'm going to go back to the, the um, Hullsway Post area. I just want to look here because this looks like the bridle path they were telling me that would take me down to the village which I'm not doing today by the way yeah I reckon this would be it unless it just takes you around this hill and you have to go lower down Okay, so it's, it's still a matter of exploration. Over and out. Right then, off we go. Yeah, if I stand here and zoom in, see, there's the gate and the post. Not very far away now. And the map beaters and the fire beaters. That's where I'm heading for, folks. Not very far at all. If I'd gone too far down, it would have been much more of a climb up. This is just right. But I know there are beehives. There's uh, some beehives there. And there. I just hope they don't take a dislike to me as I'm walking by. I hope not. So it's the 15th of September 2021 and I'm on a Quantock Hill hike. I'm on a revisit to West Bagborough, the starting point and um, Yeah, bees can be as bad as bloody cows. Yeah, I wouldn't have, I'm glad I never went right down in there though. I just hope they don't mind me going past, because there are funny bees are. It's quite close to the path of part of it, isn't it? 
they got a big range. They were, didn't like us on the top. Yeah, everyone I've met today has been really happy, you know, smiling, really cheerful, you know, lovely. Oh, hello, isn't it lovely? And, oh, this is great and everything, you know. And uh, everyone I've met has been, and they usually are when I'm out there. I've hardly ever met anyone miserable. Yeah, the man in the pink's right up there now. And that'll be me in about probably an hour, maybe less. I gotta get past the bees first. I've always I've wanted to do this track for ages because I remember being over there and looking over here thinking, cool, I wanna do that track. Now I'm doing it. So I've done a little bit of exploring here and there and revisiting. I've done some revisiting, which means going back on a different day, different time of year probably, and you always find something new. Now I haven't spoken about events in the world. I know we've got a new a young girl who's our tennis champion. She won the USA Open or something. <clears throat> so she's been dominating the news. I just hope they don't ruin her because sometimes these young people, they're not really a flash in the pan, but they can get used. And, you know, basically hurt. And then you don't hear of them again. A bit like pop stars, really. Anyway. I've got to go past business, so I'm just keeping my fingers crossed. I did spot another lower route down there, but that could be quite boggy down there. See, there's a route there. Oh, yeah, it comes right up. Yeah, well, I'm glad I kept this one and didn't go down on the really low one. Um, that's the sort of one I would do another time coming from there if I want to go down in that valley for example and explore That's the sort of thing I would do on one a future big nuller visit Do you know I, I only had an hour of sleep I can, I'm, Sometimes I do sleep well, but not if I've got to travel any distance um, even when I had Alberta, I still be up, um, making sure everything's ready and and all that sort of thing. So I'm keeping my eye out for snakes as well. But I'm not seeing an adder. I think the last time I saw an adder, I was probably about ten years old up here in Holford Glen. I haven't seen one. No. I did see one over at um, Robert Warren on a track and uh, let me just zoom in at those pots I just hope they don't come after me for some strange reason if they get disturbed at all yeah they're bees nests loads of them in there they should have a warning up if they're dangerous shouldn't they just have to be quiet. Why don't you not talk when you go by? They can probably hear you now. I mustn't be scared if one just comes up. Because if I make any too much of an alarming screech, they might see that as a sign of danger. I can still see the man in pink. <laughs> Sometimes it's reassuring seeing a familiar figure when you're out. Actually, it's a strange thing. And then when they go, eventually disappear. It's like, oh, where have you gone? I needed your company. <laughs> it's a weird thing, actually. Um, it's a very weird thing. Sheila, you've got to be quiet now. Okay. Very quiet. Okay. Yeah. No.
good. At least you've done that now. You've actually been round the hill, Shell. Haven't you?